Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16 on Oracle Linux 9.4. The latest version of PostgreSQL at the time of making this video is 16.3. Click on activities, then open any browser, then go to PostgreSQL official website that is postgresql.was. Hit enter. Now open terminal. See, this is the beta version but it is not recommended to install. So click on download. Click on Linux, then select the Red Hat, Rocky or Alma Linux. Click on it. See here, PostgreSQL M repository currently supports on RHL, Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, SendOS, Oracle Linux and Fedora. Okay, and the, select the version. See, we have the versions from 12 to 16. So, so select the latest version that is 16 and select the your platform. Okay, so select the RHL, Rack Linux or Oracle Linux 9. So select it. Then this is the architecture. See. Okay. Then these are the commands needs to be run to install the PostgreSQL 16. Go to copy one by one. Copy this one. Paste it. Hit enter. We must have the pseudo privileges or root account, account credentials. See, it is just installing the repository RPM. Now next, we have to disable if any built-in PostgreSQL modules are there. So copy it, paste it, hit enter. Control L to clear screen. Now install the PostgreSQL 16 by running this command. Copy it, paste it. But see, this will install the latest version of PostgreSQL 16, like 16.3. If you want to install 15, give the 15. If you want to install 14, give the 14. If you want to install the 13, give the 13. But we are going to install the latest version, so give the 16 and hit enter. It won't ask any confirmation because we have given hyphen by here okay so hit enter see it is going to install the process equal 16.3 we have successfully installed process equal server 16.3 so let, now we have to install the database by running this command hit enter database initialization is success. I will keep this command in the video description. Okay. Now we have to enable the PostgreSQL 16 service and start the PostgreSQL service. So go to terminal control L to clear screen. Let us verify the PostgreSQL server status. Pseudo system CTL status PostgreSQL I give the tab C PostgreSQL service is disabled and it is not started which means it is inactive and dead so fit by pressing q first we enable the postgresql service why we need to enable postgresql services whenever oracle linux or any linux server started if we enable this service it automatically starts the postgresql service once linux server restarted or started okay so no need to start the postgresql service manually for that purpose we are enabling so enable it by running the command sudo system cta enable Postgre SQL. Hit enter. It is done. Let us verify again. Pseudo system CTL status Postgre SQL. Hit enter. It is 16. So we have successfully enabled Postgre SQL 16 service. Now start the Postgre SQL service. Pseudo system CTL start Postgre SQL hyphen 16. Then give the tab. Then hit enter. It is started. Let again verify sudo system ctl status postgresql 16. See postgresql service is active and running. It is enabled. Q to quit from this output. And this is the data directory. And these are the background processes of the postgresql server. Now let us connect to postgresql server. Control L to clear screen sudo su postgres 
PSQL. See, this is another the Postgres SQL server version. This is PSQL client version. So let us verify the Postgres SQL version. Select version. See, we have installed Postgres SQL 16 on Oracle Linux. Let me verify the version of the host. More etc os hyphen release see we are on oracle linux server okay control l to clear screen now first step after connecting to post process server is we have to set the password for postgres user by using the command alter user postgres before that verify the list of the users see we it is databases slash du see we have only one user that is postgres which is the super user we have to set the password for this postgres user by running the command alter control l to clear screen alter user postgres with password give the password for this user we have successfully set the password for the postgres user we have already verified the list of the databases see these are three default databases comes with the installation of postgres sql server control l to clear screen let us create a database in this Postgres 16 server create database r2 scores now verify again see new database r2 scores is successfully created and this is the owner and these are the settings of the r2 schools database now let's switch to this new database and create some objects in this database by using the comment slash c or backslash connect both are same then give the database name database name is r2 schools see now we are connected to database after schools as the user postgres let us create a table create table student put semicolon at the end of this each statement we have successfully created let us verify the list of the tables see we have created one table that is the student and type is table and one is this one okay schema is public let us verify the data in this table it will give the zero records because we haven't inserted or added any data see zero rows are there so let us insert some data into this table Insert one more row. If you give the same one not one, it will throw error letter. Let me show you the error because we have given the primary code, so it won't allow duplicate value. See, unique constraint. See, duplicate key value violates unique key constraint on the column student primary key. So we must give the unique value in the s number now verify the data in this table select star from student see we have these three rows in this table now control l to clear screen now let us create a user in postgres equal server by using the command create user james with password Now verify list of the users. See, new user is successfully added. Now, if you want to see the process equal config file location, so config underscore file where this file, this process equal dot config file contains server level configuration parameters. If you want to see hba dot config, so hba underscore file. This type of so hba underscore file. See, this is the host based authentication file if you want to see the data directory show data underscore direct if you want to see the log directory show log underscore direct exit from this console by using backslash q now we will see how to stop restart and start the process sql service on oracle linux so command is sudo systemctl stop postgres sql hyphen 16 if it is 15 if it is the version 15 you have to give 15 so give the 16 and hit enter and provide the password of 
now verify the process equal service status see process equal service is inactive or dead we have stopped it six seconds ago q to quit control it to clear screen let us try to connect to the process equal service when it is stopped if we give the psql it will throw error connection to error connection to server on socket failed okay so let us start it sudo system ctl start postgres equal hyphen 16 now verify the status again see we have successfully started postgres equal service seven seconds ago go to quit control into clear screen if you want to restart sudo system ctl restart postgres equal iphone 16 now verify again the status see we have start restarted two seconds ago control l to clear screen so in this video we have seen how to install and configure process equal 16 on oracle linux but the process is same on oracle linux 9 rhl alma linux rocky linux 9 and other fedora families for more process equal server videos please subscribe my channel thank you